Can you believe Taylor Swift changed a lyric in her re-release? Did you see the tweet? The quote tweet of Taylor Swift dancing that said um, she danced like the girls in Vice City. Not the nicest tweet of all time, but also when I, when I saw her dancing, I was like, she really do be dancing like the girls in Vice City. That was the quote tweet, yeah, that she outdanced Michael Jackson. Listen, no, no disrespect to Taylor Swift at all. At all. But no, it's not that Taylor Swift is outdancing Michael Jackson. Nobody's outdancing Michael Jackson. We could have a conversation about maybe Usher getting into the same ecosystem at, for, for 10 minutes in the mid-2000s. But come on. You ever see the Michael Jackson rehearsal video where he ad-libs um, firing somebody because something didn't work during the rehearsal? And he's like, gonna lose your job. Somebody's gonna lose their job. Not gonna be. Job's gone. That's it. Jobs. Hang on. Microsoft Edge. Jobs gone. Michael Jackson. The music director, Brad, was supposed to end the song, but didn't. <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> Can you imagine being fired by Michael Jackson like that? I don't know why the sound was so creepy at the end. Oh, man. Probably the best way to get fired. I can't even imagine, man. I, I don't, I literally don't know how I would feel, I guess is all I'm trying to say. Job's gone, job's gone. Hey, listen, you motherfuckers, what happened at 9 a.m. starts? You motherfuckers are like, why are you starting at 10 a.m. every day? You don't even watch the stream. Every single day for the past, like, five days, I've been like, I have to commute to the stream. My daughter starts daycare at 9.30, so we got to drop her off at daycare at 9.30. Then we got to get our ass over here until our desks get delivered on Monday or Tuesday next week. So that's what happens. Same motherfuckers who are like, I watch the stream every, every day. What happened to the casino? Oh, really? You watch every day? Well, the casino got yeeted six months ago, you fucking liar. Stream's gone. Stream's gone. Brad, what are you gonna do? A stream's gone. Oh, I, I, I'm just being genuine with you. I don't know what I would feel like if I got fired that way. Anyway, let's get the dolls going today. Oh, man. Stream's gone. Stream's gone. I guess I'd rather be fired like that than be fired like by um, coming into the office on a Friday and then like my boss sending me an email like 45 minutes before lunch that's like come into my office and then I come into the like I already know what's going to happen and then he's like you know don't bother coming to the team building lunch and then I got to pack up my desk. I would rather have it there, him <laughs> send me an email that says job's gone, job's gone. What a bad, what are you going to do? get walked out of the building like Stanley Tucci at the start of uh, Margin Call when that motherfucker was right the whole time. They, what, they were trading. They said that he, Stanley... Oh, listen, I don't even want to get in. Don't, don't get me started talking about 2008 again, okay? She drives me crazy. Great film. Great film. Slash marker, so true. Great film. What film are we talking about? Oh, it stars um, Stanley Tucci, Jeremy Irons, Zachary Quinto, Paul Bettany, um, Penn Badgley. Is it Penn Badgley or the other guy from Gossip Girl? I'm deliberately avoiding the fact that it has Kevin Spacey in it. But yes, it is. Oh, Demi Moore, so true. 